from basketball is like, okay, yeah, I'm just going right. to focus on football. Okay. You know, and just, yeah. So my senior year was probably my best year. Yeah. Um, and it was great. I loved it. I mean, it was well, t- two of my best friends. One was the quarterback, the other one. Hmm. And so it was always fun to like kind of comp- compete against each other mm-hmm. and say like, like I'm not going to drop it. He might, drop it. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it was like yeah. this constant competition. Yeah. But I mean, it was really fun. You know, I wish we had a little bit more of a passing game that year. Yeah. Just cause like, you know, I was blocking a lot of kids. Well, and, yeah. But you it was good. We're playing receivers. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was, I was planning on, you know, I, I went and did a, a summer camp for BYU. Mm-hmm. We did a full pedic camp. And, you know, I was planning on walking on to the Y. And then mm-hmm. when I got back from my mid, for some reason, my mindset switched to like, I want to see yeah. and provide mm-hmm. and you yeah. know, do all these sure. things. And so it just kind of changed. That dream. Yeah. Um, you just recently, well, your wife just recently had a kid. Mm-hmm. And how how is she doing? Like your daughter. She's good. She's really good. Okay. She's uh, she's super healthy, strong. And I mean, you have that's great. one other kid, right? Yep. yep. Okay. So our son, his name is Sonny. He's two years old. Oh, and then Sunny. June, a month old now. So. Sonny yeah. and June. Sonny yeah. and June. I like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's been crazy. My wife is the real athlete. Um, Five years of college football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I uh, see her mom sometimes at the gym yeah kathy yeah mm-hmm. and so yeah. yeah she speaks for you, so. uh, <laughs> dude i haven't seen her forever kathy go, i haven't seen kathy forever yeah. yeah she's there every yeah. day yep but she's awesome is she, man- is she managing that one mm-hmm. yeah she manages both the the pace and in total oh does Salem she one yeah so yeah, yeah uh, okay yeah yeah that sounds right i remember yeah, yeah, yeah she's awesome. oh cool yeah, thanks for asking okay so once you decided to go into business and all that kind of stuff, what was your, your path? Did you, did you get a business degree? What did you, what did you decide to yeah. do? Yeah. So I was, when I got back from a mission, I went to school at B- and I jumped right in. Mm-hmm. And it was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Mainly because my dad was like that, right? Like he mm-hmm. was the type of guy that was like, I'll figure it out. Kind of yeah. take the high risk, hopefully get a high reward type of thing. And so when I got back, I jumped right into the path. And I remember like hating school, yeah. like legitimately oh, yeah. hating school. But I was like, this is how the people, this is how rich people do it, right? Like they yeah, go to school, right. they get a degree, they get in a job and whatever, whatever. And so I remember like in school, I think it was in between my sophomore and junior, year, I started like this little clothing company with like Polynesian stuff. Uh-huh. Cause I, I was like drawn like designs and yeah. crap, you know? So I started a little business and a couple of my buddies were like doing the graphic designs. We were put printing them. This is yeah. it. Like this is my business. Yeah. Well, and so awesome. like we did that for a little bit and then obviously like it wasn't sustainable yeah. just cause like mm-hmm. everybody's working, everybody's going to school. And then when I met my wife, um, I, we, we decided to move to Cedar city so she could finish her master's degree cause it was paid right. for. Right. And so I took a leave and during that leave, I was like, why in the world? Like I'm just mm-hmm. wasting yeah. time. I'm wasting money. Mm-hmm. And so then I decided to just like, when we moved back up, I was like, I don't, I don't want to go back to school. No. Yeah. yeah. And so there was a lot of, there's a lot of people, one particular guy, his name's John Burquist. He's a financial planner. Mm-hmm. I met him during that time. And he was, he was in a very similar situation when he was my, you know, I wanted to do business and I want to do these things. I want to be successful. And he dropped out of school and Mm -hmm. he was like, I dropped out of school and I focused on my career. Yeah. Yeah. People were calling him a fool and people, you know, dogging on. And he he said, he remembers like his in-laws, you know, basically saying like, you're going to regret. And I remember when I was like considering it, a lot of my, you know, family and friends Mm -hmm. were like, Hey, like you should. And when I was talking to him, I was like, well, why? Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't yeah. want to be a nurse. I don't yeah. want to be like a, a lawyer or a therapist. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to have to pay off these yeah. student loans and just keep adding to them. And you yeah. might as well put your money into your new businesses. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think one of the biggest factors, too, is like now that technology is where it's at, you know, mm-hmm. you can learn what you go online. You yeah. totally free, can. Right? Yeah. I mean, you can just YouTube. You, you, you can actually go can. wherever you want. And so that was like kind of the route. If that you're I self went motivated, yeah. right, you yeah. can hold yourself accountable. I think that's the one thing that college does, school in general, is the accountability. Yeah. There's certain things that are due on time. It teaches discipline, things like that. But the actual curriculum itself, you can learn elsewhere oh, if yeah. you if you need to. Oh yeah. Um, I did four years of college, but I didn't. I mean, did I have to have it? No. 
do I use it? Yes. I ended up, yeah. you know, I, it was exercise science. I yeah. ended up oh, using yeah. the, you know, I ended yeah. up using the same thing yeah. anyways, but I had so many people that I graduated with that didn't, mm -hmm. they kept you, they kept working their same jobs that got them through school. I'm yeah. like, dude, now, now you're just working the same job, but you're paying off all that debt. Yeah. What's the point? Like, yeah. What's the point? Yeah. What's the point? And that was the big thing too, is I was, I was, I was networking with people that were financially successful. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, they didn't have college degrees, yeah. right? They followed passion. They had a good work ethic. Right. They had the ability to like see things through to the end. Sure. And that was like where I based my, dis I want to, go, yeah. right? I see sure. the lifestyles they live for one, but I see the type of they are yeah. and how they're able to like communicate with others and just have that type of, you know, kind of persona. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, this makes more sense for like what I wanted yeah. rather than the school route. And so when I came back and I was like, Hey, I'm, I, 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 don't, I only have one, <laughs> but I was like, I don't, I don't want to go back. Well, waste no. money and do no. all these things. Yeah. So uh -huh. I Might as well just, just yeah. yeah. Just if you're feeling something, something's right, it's probably right. Yeah, you know? Exactly. And so you might as well just, um, do what you planned on doing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and it was it was perfect too because during this time, you know, and it's funny too because like mine and London's partner, we weren't like super close, right? I remember times like I did yeah. like London because like, <laughs> he was like getting at girls that I liked, and, you know. So, but like I remember like he had a, a small group of friends, Shay and Ridge in particular, that like they had that mentality, mm. and so like when I would hang out with them and I hear them talk and like hear their like passion and their motivation, mm -hmm. like let's take it, let's start this, let's do this. I was like. Yeah. Getting excited, right? Yeah. I, I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, yeah. I can go and do this. I can create something. I can be, I can do all these things. And so, yeah. me networking with those people, I was like, well, hell yeah. Do like, you let's think, do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Do you think that plays a big part into your clothing company? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, because that was, that was the big thing too is, you know, and it's, it's, when I was on my mission, I started drawing a lot because just sit in meetings mm -hmm. and like what discussions, yeah. whatever. So I started drawing a ton. When I come back from my mission, I started like, I bought like this old Chinese tattoo. So mm -hmm. I was like tattoos and stuff. And, like, my apartment. <laughs> did and you then, design your own? I, I, I designed you... most of it. Yeah. yeah. And then my cousin did it. And so like, and then I started actually tattooing people and I still mm. do. Oh. You know? and so like I was creating and I Crazy. loved the ability to create and like have people like it. And so when I was doing mm -hmm. the t-shirt company, it was like, I remember me and uh, my buddy Brandon, we would get orders from like Holland. Mm -hmm. And we would get orders from like Australia and New Zealand, and That's like awesome. people were posting it. Yeah, and I was like, it kind of like brought that excitement and energy. I was like, yeah. oh shit, like people like yeah this like random thing that I just like thought of. Yeah, and it was like so that that kind of passion and that fuel was like, okay, this is really fun. Yeah. and then obviously I got married and like, you know, that kind of route took more priority. Yeah, but then when when I started network it was like. I started to get that excitement. Right? Sure. I started, well, oh yeah, like I can do this. And like, you go. probably yeah. realized that <clears throat> there was married people there. Oh, and, yeah. 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 And so you kind of, did you kind of pay attention to, to how they were doing it? Oh yeah. I think, I think the biggest thing is I always wanted mm -hmm. to take time to like hear people. Mm -hmm. And so like with John, for example, like he's been a really, really positive and good friend. And so, like, we played basketball together. We started, like, doing stuff outside of the office together. And mm -hmm. so, like, obviously, when you're in those situations, yeah. you share back-end stories and how you've done sure. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And so, like, I would always ask me, like, when was the hardest? Or, like, what what is your recommendation for where I'm at versus where you're at? And, yeah. like, mm -hmm. all of that was a huge factor. Even, like, um, Jeff and London's parents, mm -hmm. I would always ask them, like, advice as far as, like, okay, when you're looking, what are yeah. you doing? And so it was, yeah. it was really cool to see, like, how these people view their profession well, and it, how they, how they react in those yeah, situations. And it's well. also yeah. cool to yeah. like have that mindset at such a young age, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, the not waiting until, yeah, your second or yeah. third career. Yeah. I, I would, I honestly, I wish I started younger. Yeah. You know? like, for I, sure. I really do just cause I mean, school's great. I, I don't knock school at all, especially yeah. if you're like, exercise science yeah. you need to I knew exactly what I wanted to do yeah. I went and did it and and then I pursued what yeah, I wanted yeah exactly. right away yeah well I I just think like with school like you you need to know you need to have a plan yeah mm -hmm. and if you don't have that plan 
maybe just wait a few years or what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and you don't know what you don't know, right? And so, like, you don't know that you won't like exercise unless you work in that field. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, I I first started school wanting to be a massage therapist or, like, Mm -hmm. in, like, that medical thing. And Mm -hmm. I went and, like, did intern. Yeah. And later I found out, like, God, science I really sucks do this. for one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too stupid for that. And then, two, it was like their day-to-day wasn't what I enjoyed, right? Mm. So it was like right. I like working out for my own body and for yeah. my own, like, yeah. physique or whatever, but, like, doing it over and over. So I, I kind of pivoted and was like, well, I love business. I like helping people. And so I was trying to, like, figure out how to create these different, you know, yeah. and, and London and I <laughs> – Every day, I think I send it right. Yeah. Like every yeah. day, I'm like, hey, uh-huh. dude, what if we did this shit? And we just, you know, we'd be mm-hmm. billionaires or whatever, right? And so it's like, it's fun well, to have and all did that. You, do you mm-hmm. just expand on your ideas, like, from that you've already had, you know? Yeah, for sure. I think, yeah. I think there's a lot of, you know, trial and error, mm-hmm. right? Sure. Like by mistake. You know, we failed a bunch, especially, like, even, mm-hmm. even Fit Club as a gym, you know, we've learned so much. Oh, yeah. Especially from doing it on our own, right? We didn't know, like, softwares. We didn't know security <sighs> systems or, yeah, like, right. how to even, that's, like, set the gym up, like, right? And that's so what you gotta do, up. though. Yeah. Like, you just gotta jump right in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, I, I really, um, appreciate your story because, like, I think, a lot of people are going through this same type of situations, mm-hmm. especially yeah. right now during yeah. COVID and mm-hmm. all that other bullshit. But, um, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, w- what do you learn from like those types of situations? You know? Yeah. I think the big thing for me is like, it's never a failure, right? Like you're yeah. always learning. like, that's I think that's one of the biggest like motivating factors for me mm-hmm. is like to never become complacent. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, like there's a lot of people that they reach like a plateau in their career or in their life or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. And then they become like, oh, like I'm okay being here. Mm-hmm. And like for me, right, like my my father, to give you some context here, like my father grew up in a third world country. Yeah. Didn't even come to America until like mm-hmm. started do, do his you, own business. Right. What you language what I mean? do they speak in? They speak Tongan. Tongan. Okay. Mm. So it's its own language. So like English is his second language. Okay. Yeah. You right. know, and he basically from, from his start to his, like where he's currently at. Yeah. Like people in America. Court, they don't. At, right? Yeah. Right. And so, like, I feel extremely blessed, one, to be born here, Mm -hmm. but, like, two, to be born in the circumstances that I am, because I was taught, like, hard work and and kind of these ethics and whatever. (laughs) And so, like, my goal is to always be, like, trying to do my best and whatever and never to plateau, because, like, if my father can come from a different country and get to yeah. where he's at, yeah, and I'm born in this country, I should be able to, like... You already had one step go, up. Yeah, exactly. Already, yeah. Right? Uh-huh. And, like, I... I, I listened to this uh, this video the other day of Jesse Etzler. If you guys, yeah, are I know him. him. Yeah, so, yeah, and he was saying that when he was he was living in, I think it was a, in a, I, I, don't quote me on this, but it was in like a townhouse in New York, mm-hmm. and it was like his great grandfather, his grandpa, his dad, and him. Wow! And there's four generations, right, living in the same house. Oh. Wow! And now look at him, right? Like he's oh, had I know. insane he, amount he, of financial and yeah. business success, but yeah, he, for sure. he kept saying. You're one idea, you're one thing away from like breaking through. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But if you stop those ideas and if you stop those things, yeah. you'll never break through. Yeah. And so like anybody. For sure. Kind of you're, a, you're yeah. never a, so failure is an event. It's not a person. Yeah. You fail at something. Yeah. You don't fail as a person unless you accept yourself as a failure. Yeah. Then sure. You're a failure. I love that. So, um, um, so I, I know this book, um, by Stephen Pressfield field and it's called um the war of art the war the, of art yeah instead of the art of war yes the other way around yeah and um the i i really feel like you would get a lot out of that book yeah I'll you know read that. Yeah. yeah it's cool i need that we always like book su- suggestions we should start that like it's book suggestions yeah. and stuff like that. Well, like if Mormon. any, <laughs> if anyone's <laughs> never read, um, that book by Steve, Stephen Pressfield, the war of art. Okay. That's our, like, our recommend that's recommendation a, for the a day. Really good book. Yeah. Okay, I'll read, more I'll of our, I've read the art of war. 
that one. Yeah. But not it's the war of art. Read that one. <laughs> yeah. I'll just read it backwards. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that's that's a. I mean, even <clears throat> books in general. It's hard for me. Oh. I can I can listen to audio books and yeah. yeah. But a good the book. Sitting down and reading, I have ADD, and so I just. Oh yeah, me too. The yeah. thing the. Thing